Thank you, sir. Sir, there have been two distinguished Indians who have occupied the position of Vice President and Chairman of the Rajya Sabha. Who hail the first is a man whose photograph we see every day and whom we take for granted today, but who is one of the great institution builders of modern India, Dr. Sarvepalli Radhakrishnan. And the second, to leave a distinctive mark on Indian political life, is Pedalulu Gauravanilu Muppa Varupu Venkaya Nadu Garvish. Sir, five years ago, when you took over, you started your innings characteristically by saying, if you cooperate, I can operate. Today, after five years of cooperation and operation, it has become a time of separation. <laughs> and sir, it's a very emotional moment for all of us because you have conducted this house in a very unusual way. People have praised you for allowing all languages of India to be spoken in this house. That's a remarkable achievement. People have congratulated you for giving youngsters equal opportunity. That is a remarkable achievement. But sir, there are other remarkable achievements of yours which have struck in my mind. You are the only chairman who has adjourned the house while standing up. You are the only chairman who has adjourned the house and as soon as he sat down. And you are the only chairman sometimes whose decisions have mystified not only the opposition but also the ruling party. So you've been very fair in spreading your largesse, sir. And for that, I commend you. Because although you have come from a political party, as president of a political party, you have not allowed that background to influence any decisions you took. And some of your decisions baffled the treasury benches that they came to me to ask me whether I have any inside knowledge of why you took certain decisions. So I think that's a hallmark of a true chairman, that you have treated all of us equally, given all of us equal opportunity, and conducted the proceedings of this house at very tense moments in a spirit of wit and humor. So Derek O'Brien, my friend, was very unkind to you. He reminded you of some of your speeches you made while you were sitting here. So I'm tempted to add to this unkindness, because I remember the five hour ordeal that I had to undergo in an argument with you on the 20th of February 2014, when the Adhan Pradesh reorganization bill was being discussed on the floor of this house. Yes. And the last word, sir, belonged to you. After the Prime Minister had said that we will give special category status to the state of Andhra Pradesh for five years, you got up and said, when our government comes, we'll give it for 10 years. So I'm sorry, sir, that I have to remind you of this promise. <laughs> but these are, you know, this is part of life. We are here, we are there. Some of us migrate to where you are sitting. And I think it's a remarkable tribute uh, to your skills that you have occupied all positions of this house and other houses. So everybody has remarked about your sense of humor. I know many people with a sense of humor, but their sense of humor is directed at somebody else. You're one of the very few I know who directs his sense of humor at himself. I remember, sir, after three terms in the Rajya Sabha in Karnataka, I had a conversation with you. And I, I said to you, sir, why aren't you coming back for the fourth term from Karnataka? I went to Bangalore and I saw people shouting Venkaya Sakaya, which means enough of Venkaya. And you said to me immediately, no, no, it is Venkaya Bekaya, which means we want Venkaya. <laughs> and very soon, sir, you came back to this house from Rajasthan. So your sense of humor is directed at yourself, not necessarily at somebody else. And that's why, sir, other, the other day at your house I remarked, many people aspire to be great in public life but you have aspired to be good. And you will be remembered long after the great men have been forgotten because you are a good man, because you have been a kind man, you have been a large-hearted man. Finally, sir, you are moving to one Tyagraj mark. I want to make a special request to you. You have been a champion of Indian languages. Who is this Tyagraj? In Tamil, he is Tyagraja. In Telugu, he is Tyagraja. Why is he made Tyagraj? In, in, in Delhi. This is what Hindi imperialism does. This is what Hindi zealotry does. And sir, when you go to occupy your house, you will find it is not Tyagraj as one word. Tyag and Raj. Nobody in Raj does any Tyag, sir. 
It is Tyag Raja. So I hope you will ensure that the name of the house that you will occupy for the next innings of your life will be Tyag Raja Marg and yes. not Tyag Raj Marg. Yeah. Thank, thank, thank you. Thank you. This has been, I am told that I have been there for long. Definitely I will change it, don't worry. Tyagar Raja is a great musician. And people in Tamil Nadu, in Tirugu, and in Karnataka, they love his music. And he's a great man. I had the, uh, he's, 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 uh, he's now becoming international also, Tyagar Raja. So we will all be remembering Tyagar Raja also. I will also try my bit to highlight uh, his uh, contribution to the music world across the country. Humor, humor, I would like to tell you members before I leave this house at the end of the day or whenever the house is going to be at the 10th is my last day. The humor is very much required. If humor and grammar are combined together, grammar means subject, not the English grammar. Humor and grammar, grammar is combined, then you will be glamorous. That has to be understood by others. Humor, grammar, or grammar then people will pay more attention to you and they will be able to take you seriously. If you speak in a very serious language, which is not understood by people, only Harvard and Oxford people can understand, then it will not reach the common man. That's why I try to sometimes add lighter one-liners. There are no other intention. Honorable members, before I go to Parliament Affairs Minister and also Leader of the House, uh, Finance Minister, a couple of ministers also want to speak. We should give them an opportunity also. But there are other names. But if I take the names, then there is a request also from both sides. There is one bill which is pending, which has to be disposed of today. And then we have a function also. Okay. No, no, I, I, I will give an opportunity to you. Uh, so please bear with me. Do not think otherwise. I know the love and affection you have. Now we will hear our Parliament Affairs Minister, Prahlad Joshi, Kannada.